It's the subject that has got the nation talking, why does Meghan constantly cradle her bump? Here we identify the different types of embrace. And ask experts to explain why they think she does it. I tease like those irritating baby on board signs. Liz Jones, most columnist. Sometimes it's a single handed cupping. At the British Fashion Awards last month, it was a smug and circling, causing much opprobrium. Dash you were pregnant. We know. Dash on Twitter. Not since to me Moore was naked on the cover of Vanity Fair as a mum to be stirred such ire. Is the gesture a signal to everyone in the room, Harry, the Queen, minions, to treat her like cut glass? Does she not want to be accused of spending even more money on bigger coats that do up, so is opting to leave her existing coat open instead? Personally, I find the cradling a bit like those signs in the back of cars, baby on board. Virtue signaling, as though the rest of us barren headens deserve to burn alive in our cars. I do wonder what is to come once Meghan begins to breastfeed. Will she milk it for all she is worth? She's building a bond with the baby. IT's just biology. Catherine Graves, hypnobirthing expert. Cradling a bump is something that's hardwired into women from a biological perspective. Women are instinctively drawn to touching their babies because, even when they're in the womb, it produces a hormone called oxytocin. This hormone is known as the bonding hormone, but it also affects the strength of your contractions in labor. The more oxytocin in your system, the stronger your contractions will be, which can lead to an easier birth. Placing your hands on your bump comforts the baby, comforts you, and helps create the optimum conditions for labor. Duchess of Showbiz is just seeking a photo op. Joe Elvine, editor of U Magazine. I've tried not to find it annoying. But I'm sorry, it just is. A casual cradling of one's bump is to be expected. It's new, it's exciting and there really is nothing like feeling that thing kick and jump around in there. But Meghan's positioning is always so fixed into one singular, rigid pose that it's becoming uncomfortable to watch. I'm getting our makes just looking. It's all very baby bump Barbie. Kinder people would point to an excited new mother's natural, unconditional love already blossoming. True enough, in which case I hope its sibling isn't far behind, or that poor kid's clearly in for a smothering. But come on, this is the Duchess of Showbiz we have here. It smacks to me of a focus that's contrived and relentlessly photo op ready. Meghan would be well advised to take the world's only pregnant woman. Vibes down a notch or two. A woman showing a newfound reserve. Harry Witchell, body language expert. Meghan tends to cup her bump by knitting her fingers together, a sign of holding back and being more grounded. That's quite a contrast to her usual behavior, which involves dealing with a world with gusto. As a royal she is expected to be more reserved. So is this a subconscious attempt to be so? This doesn't look like acting. This looks like a woman aware of a change in her body. A sign of her delight at being pregnant. Alexandra Schulman, most columnist. A lot of women feel comforted by touching their baby bump but Meghan appears to indulge more than most. It happened even before she had a discernible bump, and I imagine some of this is because she is so delighted to be pregnant. Possibly, at 37, she wasn't sure it would happen so quickly. But there may be another story. All royals have a method of preventing their arms from flailing around in a chaotic fashion when they are out and about. Meghan is using her bump as a way to keep her hands calm, while showing how protective she is. She looks as demure as the Virgin Mary. Alison Jackson, photographer. Meghan's arms framing the bump very clearly shows that she is pregnant, rather than just looking large. I think she's also very consciously making the effort to break up the solid color of her outfits. After years as an actress, she'll be very aware of camera angles and how to work them and how to create flattering shapes with her body. I also think she resembles the image of the Virgin Mary, demure and regal, carrying the most precious cargo. She's definitely very pleased with herself about that. Ignore the backlash, this is a big positive. Julianne Bautaleb, psychologist. It's interesting to see such a backlash against a woman who is interacting with her bump in this way. But I see it as a very positive thing. 
it indicates a good attachment to the unborn baby. I work with a lot of women who struggle to develop a bond with their child, whether due to difficulty conceiving, miscarriage, or birth trauma. But a woman who is cradling her bump is showing that she's very engaged, both emotionally and physically, with her unborn child. I tease Megan's cloak of invulnerability. Linda Kelsey, former editor of Cosmopolitan. Everyone else constantly paws you when you're pregnant, so why shouldn't Megan take things into her own hands? Personally, I've never felt as strong and invulnerable as when my belly was ballooning. I would march into meetings with my doctor, feeling nothing he could say could burst my sense of well-being. And in case he missed the point I'd cradle my belly for added effect. Megan has had a hard time of it lately with attacks on a number of fronts. But when you're pregnant and loving it nothing else really matters. Every time she cradles her bump, it's a case of you and me against the world, babe, and she's rocking it. If this is her acting, IT's a massive cliché. D. Cannon, Acting Coach When you're teaching an actor to play pregnant, the preparation involves holding the back. Cradling the bump is not really something you'd ask an actor to do. It's such a demonstrative gesture that it could be seen as a cliché. So when a woman is doing that in real life, you can choose to interpret it in either a positive or a negative way, either it's a subconscious, instinctive, nurturing, maternal gesture, or they're proud and overly protective. What's so unnatural in loving your bump? Bonita Turner, editor of Junior Magazine. I imagine it's reassuring for Megan to put her hands on her baby. I don't think she's doing it to show off, and I imagine that people saying that have never been pregnant. It's natural to be proud of your bump. You only have it for 9 months and it is quite special. Constant stroking is helping baby learn. Tamra Bujam, pediatrician. We have known for a long time that babies respond to voices and sounds from outside the womb, and they also move their arms, head and mouths more when the bump was stroked. Some babies would reach out and touch the walls of the uterus. Touching your bump is good for the baby's development. Megan may not know it, but her constant stroking and rubbing is helping develop the baby's coordination and movements. A positive sign she loves her new body. Holly Rubin, body image expert. Some women love how they look when pregnant. Others hate it. A woman's body image pre-pregnancy very much influences how she feels looks and presents herself. When we feel good in ourselves, we tend to present ourselves in a very different way to when we don't, and putting your hand on the bump in this way is a positive sign. Making the most of her new shape. Brene Risbin, stylist and blogger. Some women find it hard to make the most of their changing body shape and hide their bumps, but Megan isn't one of them. Choosing to wear striking colors such as the purple dress and red coat she wore on a recent visit to Birkenhead is a clear message that not only does she want to show off her bump, but also that being pregnant doesn't mean she's taken her finger off the fashion pulse. She loves to show that she's a fat lady. Katie Nichol, Royal Author Having observed Meghan on official engagements, her bump padding seems to be second nature, it's her new prop. It's endearing but a little distracting. I think she genuinely feels a connection with what Harry calls our little bump and cradling her tummy is instinctive and protective. Even when she's wearing a coat, Megan flicks it to one side so her tummy is on show. I've loved the way she's not been afraid to display her bump. She took no offense when she was called a fat lady by a well-meaning member of the public at a recent outing, laughing, I'll take it, 